Hello, good afternoon. Sava here from Sava Talks Football. It will be afternoon when you see this. I hope all is well. So everybody, it's FA Cup week. And FA Cup week for Tottenham Hotspur fans used to be the week. Spurs are going to win the cup. Spurs are on their way to Wembley. The famous songs. We were once the, the, you know, the most decorated FA Cup team in the land. We once had the record at eight FA Cups and now everybody's overtaken us. Um, look, it is what it is. And I think this year it represents our best chance of winning a trophy. It really, really does represent our best chance. So for me, this is the question. Can we win it? Will we win it? So let's explore two very different options. For me, I think it would be absolutely wonderful to win a cup. Absolutely wonderful. Forget everything. Forget Enoch, Enoch out, Enoch in, Conte out, Conte in, Conte's contract. Forget Stellini, forget Paratici, forget Kane, forget all of it. Let's concentrate on Tottenham Hotspur. Wouldn't it be wonderful to win the FA Cup? I would love that more than anything this year. More than anything, I would love to win that FA Cup. The age-old debate I put out yesterday, top four versus FA Cup, the majority of people that came back to me of about 150 comments, I think about 130, 135 of them were all top uh, uh, FA Cup, FA Cup, FA Cup. A few said top four. People were saying, and listen, you know, there's no right or wrong here. That You know, people are entitled to their opinion. Some people say, well, you know, FA Cup doesn't allow us to see Real Madrid at the lane. But, you know, that just to, by way of example, but... Listen, this year so far, we've not been able to see a, 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 a club of the calibre of Real Madrid at the lane. It's been a pretty tame, poor Champions League year for us so far. We've not played well in any game and we've played some very mediocre teams. But so my point is there, it doesn't allow it. it sorry, it, it's not a, a given that you get Champions League football and you're going to get great clubs to play. For me, this club needs a trophy. Every club is judged on what they win. And unfortunately, Tottenham Hotspur don't win anything. So for me, let's answer those two questions. Can Tottenham win the FA Cup and should they win the FA Cup? Can they win the FA Cup? Absolutely. Why not? It's a cup competition. Wigan have won it. Portsmouth won it. Yeah? Loads of Leicester won it. Why can't Tottenham win the FA Cup? Yeah, you need luck. Of course you need luck on your side. You need the right draw. Of course you do. But it's a cup competition. It's knockout competition. You have to play well. You don't even have to play well. You have to get the result over 90 minutes and move on to the next one. We've got Sheffield United away tomorrow night. Not an easy game. I'm not going to say it's an easy game because Sheffield United are flying high. I think they're well clear in second in the championship and they should get promoted. But listen, I'm not going to hear all this rubbish that we have to have our fully fit 11 to beat Sheffield United who are second in the championship. We're a Champions League outfit. We should be beating them whatever 11. Now, don't get that confused with me saying we should make wholesale changes at all. I just think there's no excuses tomorrow. I don't care who plays. I don't care if Richarlison, Dan Juma and Lucas Moura play. I don't care if Kane, Sun, Kulu play. Whoever plays, that should be a victory. Sheffield United are a decent team and I'm not belittling them, but we are a top four club in Champions League. We should definitely be beating them and going on for a, a, a fantastic cup run, depending on the draw. So can we win it? Absolutely. Anyone left in the competition can win it. Now let's move to the more realistic conversation of should we win it? Two very different words there. Can and should. Should we win it? I don't think we should win it. I don't think it's a God-given right. You know, there's some teams in that competition that are very, very good i.e. Man U and Man City, probably the two best teams in the country at the moment. People will argue Arsenal, but I'd still rather play Arsenal than I would Man U or Man City. Man U are flying. They've lost two games in 29 or 31 in all competitions, whatever it is. It's just phenomenal. They're third in the league. They're very tough to beat. Uh, they've got a brand new manager who's done a, a phenomenal job. Let's 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 call it what it is. He's done a phenomenal phenomenal job. He's had a hard task there turning around a massive club that have been going nowhere and drifting for years. He had the whole Ronaldo debacle, um, and I think he's done wonderfully. You've then got Man City. Now, people will say, well, we've got their number. Well, we have, but we can't take that for granted because as much as we've got their number, we played them in the final a few years ago, and they beat us convincingly. They slapped us 4-2 at their ground a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, we beat them at our ground, and we beat them last year. But for me, it's not a given. And realistically, can we be honest? No one's going to choose 
to want to have Man City in any of the rounds. But the likelihood is you're going to play Man City or Man United at some point between now and the final, if not the final itself. So should we win it? I don't think we should, but that's on paper and football isn't played on paper. Can we? Absolutely we can win it. Why not? Why not? We're showing that we can defend. We're showing we can stop conceding goals. Consistency, as I've talked about in the last few days, absolutely needs to, needs to continue, needs to keep going. Consistency isn't over two or three games. Consistency is that constantly. So can we do that? Why not? Should we do it? Who knows? So come on. Come on, you Spurs. Let's win that FA Cup. I would love nothing more than that. And what I want to see is if we win that FA Cup, let's not have all these fans having a go at each other. You said this, you said that, don't this, that... Let's win a competition, act like fans of the same club. Let's win it and enjoy it as a group together. It's what we all want. No matter what our opinions on the manager, on the style, on the, 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 the scouts, the academy, the stadium, the owners, surely the one thing we can all agree is that we'd love to see some success. Surely that should unite and bond us, shouldn't it? Secondly, just I won't labour this point because I'm sure everybody is. Spurs today have announced a new... Um, a new partnership with Formula One for the track underneath the stadium. Um, what do you make of it? I'm not even going to give my opinion. You know my opinion. I've said for many years, Tottenham Hotspur isn't a football club anymore. Tottenham Hotspur is a business with multiple strands of which football is one of them. Football isn't the main aim. Football is one of the strings of the bow. What do you make of this? Are we selling our souls? Are we setting ourselves up for a wonderful future? Will the money generated go back into the club and buy players? Is this just a means to an end for the owners to sell? I'm not going to go deep into that. Everyone knows my opinions. What do you make of it? So that's it from me today. I'll be back tomorrow with some lives. Much love. Come on, you Spurs. Let's win that FA Cup. And please don't forget to join me on Friday for the 24-hour charity uh, a live streaming event for the Syria and Turkey Earthquake Appeal. It's a wonderful cause. And there's lots of people that need our help, our support. And unfortunately, they need our money. So join me for that. Please like, please subscribe if you haven't. We're closing in on 3,500. I'd really appreciate your like and your subscribe. Much love, everyone. Take care. Let me know what you think.